Hey guys, welcome back to Sprocket. Today we are back and we are back with the internals update. This is my second video on the update, so don't think that I'm going to build anything too cool today. But this is it. I'm actually really interested in what we can come up with today. So, because of the way this update is actually set, we can actually do some internals and have an open top. So, that's what we're going to work on. Hopefully, it'll go well. Let's do this. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm going to be basing this off, but let's go ahead and start working on the wheels first. So, how do we want this to work? Well, suspension, I would actually really like to use the other suspension, but it doesn't seem like it's actually here, which is kind of annoying. Um, so, I guess we're going to be using the suspension we currently have. Let's go ahead and replace the spacing with something very, very tiny. There we go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and make these guys even smaller. So, if I can, let's go to wheels themselves, diameter, bring them all the way down, and we're gonna have some tiny wheels, and then I think I can space them out from there just like this. That's kind of what I want, sure. Ooh, I've just noticed something new that you can actually do. Uh, so on these guys, the return rollers, you can now actually add an angle to them, which is really interesting. That's not actually something we could do before, so you can actually angle it really high, or you can angle it down either or. I think what I'm going to do is have it angled downwards and actually start it up there like that. That looks sick. Yeah, no, I really like this. Uh, from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and just make everything else fit. I'll make them a little bit probably skinnier, and we'll go from there. Alright, so there we go. I've made it skinnier, and also I've made the tracks themselves a little bit thicker. Overall, I actually really like the way this looks. I think we've done a pretty good job. Alright, so I find that this bit is going to be kind of interesting. I don't know how to actually select every part of this. Unfortunately, I just don't know how that works. But what I'm going to do is actually lower this down so that we can fit all of the suspension in there. And then I have to figure out how to actually fit the engine properly. So essentially what I needed to do was select the engine, make it smaller by changing it to a 1 litre engine, and then I actually changed it to be a 12 cylinder engine, so it ended up actually being quite long. We then needed to fit it within the axles down below, which we did actually end up doing, which worked out. Alright, so what that allowed me to do was actually to lower the entire box down, which is awesome. Alright, so now it's time to actually make the body. Essentially, I want the front end to be relatively pointy, uh, and then we are going to go ahead and split it and try and design some sort of nice shape along the top. At the rear, I essentially just want it to just follow the tracks, because I feel like that makes sense. Um, but yes, we're going to go ahead and put the gun and everybody in this big compartment on the front. So it's got to be quite tall, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete the back sections, make the walls a little bit thicker, and that should allow us to have a really cool compartment. I'm not going to lie, I don't really know how I'm supposed to build a wall down into here, but we can try somehow. Uh, literally no idea how this is going to go, but I think I'm going to have to like extend this one, right? extrude it just a little bit. And then I'm going to drag it upwards, just a tiny touch, and I'm going to essentially shrink it so it's tiny. Alright, that doesn't work. <laughs> that is not what I want, but actually, that looks kind of cool. Maybe if I built it like that, that'd be awesome. I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and make the insides be a little bit more smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and build some little boxes around the inside of this just to make sure everything fits. The other thing we need to do as well is obviously put the steering wheel on the inside so that the driver actually has something to hold and steer the tank with. We then need to make it flat on the inside as well just so that everything fits. This is interesting. It's, it's totally working too. Alright, so now that the driver is in, let's go ahead and go to crew really quickly. Hatches... Oh, maybe it's not under hatches actually. Here it is, the driver's view. I'm going to make this quite large and I'm going to shove it right there. So essentially the driver is going to sit on this side right here. Yeah, alright, they should be able to see through that. But unfortunately, not really. That's okay. So, I would really like to actually add a hole into this. I don't know how that's going to go. So if I go to this... And I do this. What in the world? I mean, that looks amazing, but that's not really what I want. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of interesting in, in the sense that I didn't really want to put it here. So whatever I do now might interfere with things quite a bit. Right, so I want to shove it backwards so it's pretty much level. All right, which is like to there. And then I kind of want to move it down. Oh my goodness. Down and sideways. Unfortunately, I can't really move it like that. 
Ah, that becomes a huge issue. Like a really big issue. Look at all the stuff that's going on with the walls. Okay, well, I mean, I could have it come out here like this, but this is not it. This is not really what I wanted. Not at all. <laughs> right, get rid of that. Let's go ahead and split this in half. Here we go. So if we split it there, what if I then put it there? So faces, grab this and do this. Ooh, I mean, it's kind of interesting, but it pokes out far too much. Unless it doesn't. Oh, that's another way of looking at it, actually. What if it doesn't actually impact it all that much? What if I leave it like this? <laughs> yeah, and then we actually shove the gun in there on the back side. I know that seems very, very weird. But maybe that's okay. So if I go around all of these... I don't know what the size of it should be, but let's go ahead and try anyway. So thickness, let's go for like 50. There we go. That looks interesting. I don't know how to feel about it, though. All right, you know what? I'm going to keep it. It seems strange to keep it, but we're going to go with it. So if we go to firepower now, and I actually grab a cannon, let's go ahead and shove that right there. I'm then going to move, obviously, this to the inside right here. And that's just going to have to be there. Uh, weirdly, yes. So the cannon is going to be mounted like that. <laughs> <laughs> not the best, definitely not the best, but still kind of cool. So, let's go ahead and introduce some length to this gun. Here we go, we're going to go with 750 right there, and the thickness is going to be 25 and 25. Okay, actually no, 15 right here, that seems pretty good. From here we're going to make this one 1000 millimeters. very good. Actually, maybe even 2000. There we go, a really long barrel. And then if we put a muzzle on the end, that should look pretty sick. Doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. I am thinking this should maybe be further backwards, like that. And then maybe further in the sky. So it's, like, more in the circle, but I don't know. Yeah, I think that looks good. So from there, we're going to have to have the propellant length be a lot bigger. That means the round is going to be this big. And it's going to be a 75mm cannon. So it's going to look like that instead. Interesting. I think I like it. It's not quite right, but for a second tank with the internals like this, I don't think this is looking too bad. I guess it's a tank destroyer instead, but still, it's cool. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's go ahead and go to crew really quickly. We're going to grab a person and we're going to try and sit them so they're holding the steering wheel. Obviously, we've got an issue with that already, so we just need them to fit in the floor. Feet forward, let's go ahead and do this. And I'm actually going to raise the entire person upwards like that. There we go. We're then going to have them sit with their hands on the steering wheel. So arm out. There we go. And arm out just a little bit like that. And then I think if I push them forwards, they actually do somewhat fit. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I don't know whether I'll ever get the hang of this, but maybe I will. So that person should be able to drive it around. Interesting. Yes. Okay, so what is the next person going to do? Well, this might be the guy that's going to reload the gun, so we're going to go ahead and shove him. <laughs> what if he sits on the back? Like that. Arm down? Yeah, quite far. And arm down quite far on this one as well. There we go. So he's going to sit on the back end like this, and he's going to be our reloader. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, cool. So... Uh, operator, breach, loader, there we go, good. And then we're going to need another person, and this is going to be our actual gunner. So, seat height, really tall. In order to shoot, maybe he just looks over the top. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And we can have him stand right here like this. Left arm down, right arm down. There we go, and in and in, that's fine. Okay, and we'll have him just standing here. Sure. Uh, obviously, we are going to need a gunner's sight anyway, unfortunately. So we'll just shove one right there-ish. Okay, good. And we're going to have to make him a gunner. There we go. Cannon operator. Excellent. So we got three guys in the tank right now. And it is somewhat operational. Sick. All right, so what I've decided to do is to actually extrude this side uh, just a little bit. I am going to be dragging it out to the side like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this type of dealio like that. I think that looks sick, so we're going to go with it. 
And then obviously we're going to need this thing to be uh, armored somewhat. I don't know how that works. But yes, thickness, let's go with like 50 and see what that actually does. There you go. Doesn't seem to do too much, but it has messed with whatever's going on in there. Because I don't really get it. But that's fine. So yes, we now have some side pieces, which look really cool, actually. I like that. All right, so what else do we actually need within the beast then? We're going to need some ammunition. I am going to store a whole chunk of ammo down here on the floor. Probably not the best place to put your ammo, but we're going to go ahead and make loads of it. Here we go. And there's going to be a stack of it right here to load into the gun. Yes, so let's actually hide this. So when we're driving around, all the guy at the back needs to do is lift them up from there and shove them in here. That's it. That's his whole job. Okay, so main issue with this right now is that we can't actually traverse the gun. Obviously, I'd have to build in like a mini uh, turret or something like that in order for this to work. Uh, but a turret actually comes with a turret ring, so I'm not sure that's the way of doing it in this game right now. Although I don't know. Maybe we need pivots or something like pivots. I'm not sure. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is add a bunch of detail to this, try and make it look nicer, and then that'll be it, probably. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. Okay, so this is the current setup. I haven't really done too much to the front, but on the back, I've added uh, some stuff like this. The exhaust on the back, trench crossing stuff on the back, uh, and I've actually done a little bit of interior. We've got a little seat <laughs> up here on the back uh, for the reloader guy. We've also got a seat inside for the driver, and uh, I did actually put a bit of a floor in for the gunner. Uh, it's very much... Um, B bad. <laughs> Very much bad, but it's, it's still, I don't know, kind of cool that we've done something. Uh, fuel tank is going to go right here behind the driver, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and make it quite tall. So there we go. In case we need it, fuel tank is right there. I actually really like the fact that we could place that like that. It's awesome. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of random detail that I do want to add to the front, but I don't really know how to. Uh, I would really like to do stuff like... Um, what's it called? Rivets. Rivets would be really, really cool to add. However, I don't think they're here. I don't know where rivets would actually be. So, I'm going to add a little bit more uh, equipment, and we'll go from there. Okay, it looks like the painting has actually changed a little bit too, which I kind of like. Uh, I think it looks pretty good doing it this way. Saturation, we can obviously increase and decrease. We've also got tint, red, green, and blue, obviously, because that's how it's generally done. And this is what we currently have. Now, I'm thinking to make it darker, we obviously bring these guys down, and we do it that way. And I think that's looking pretty sick, to be honest. Uh, that color maybe is a bit off. So actually, I'm going to add a little bit more red and a tiny bit more green. There we go. And I think that actually looks really good. So we're going to go with it. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Also, we've got an urban camo now in case we want it. It's essentially just like a normal camo, uh, but gray. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is go to decals. We're going to choose, I guess, a star, like a random star. Probably going to go with this one, which apparently is red star B. There you go. Shove that on both sides. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Again, I would really like to add rivets and stuff like that. Unfortunately, uh, they're just not really a thing right now, so I can't. But there you go. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this thing. Let's get it in the light, and we'll see what we think of it too. Okay, so here it is in the light. Obviously, we've got the guy sat on the top. The guy on the back is sat in a chair. I have just noticed one thing. His legs are actually floating, which is not what I want. So if I can... I'm actually going to head to crew. Is that thing still available? You know the little plank of wood? It's not actually down here. Uh, but that would be really good for actually adding stools and stuff like that. Uh, but it's not even here, so we can't really use that. Uh, what we can use, though, I suppose... Oh, fenders! That actually wouldn't be a bad idea for interiors. We could use these. I don't know whether I'll be able to turn them around. I don't think I'm allowed to. Let's see, though. Oh, I totally am. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that sideways. And I'm going to have this fit in for his legs. All right, so I'm going to fit it into here. That actually looks pretty good as is. There you go. So now he's got a bit of a stool to stand on. I'm going to make it slightly smaller by doing this. There we go. And I will shove it into that wall. Oh. 
Maybe turn auto flip off. So it automatically randomly flips things around, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, but there you go. Now he's got somewhere for his little feet to actually stand on. That is, that is really cool. Unfortunately, his feet are at a bit of an angle, so I'm going to lower this down. And I am actually going to angle it upwards like that, but a little bit less. There we go. Honestly, I think that's fine. So now he's got somewhere for his feet to go. This is sick. I actually really like this design. Unfortunately, we don't have a traverse on the gun. So this just fires like straight. I don't even think it wants to aim up or down. It just aims forwards, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Uh, but I really like the tank. I think it's kind of cool. The fact that we can now have open top vehicles as well is sick. I really, really like it. Alright, so I didn't actually realize uh, that this is how this works, but essentially you have to add a mantlet in order for it to actually work. So I've gone ahead and added a mantlet to this design, as you guys can see right there. What then happens is you actually get given one of these guys right here, a laying drive, where you can actually control all of the torque, ratio, elevation, depression of the gun. There's also azimuth in here as well, however, I don't think you can actually use the azimuth on this. At least, I'm not... so... I don't think you can anyway. So now if we go to move the gun, we can actually... Oh, wait, why is it not moving? <laughs> now I'm confused. Okay, so actually the way that the azimuth works is this bit behind the turret is how much elevation it has. Luckily, because it's in between this guy's legs, obviously you can actually elevate it and... Uh, de depress it? Is that even the right way of saying this? Maybe it is. Anyway, what I want to do in this situation is actually allow it to go from left to right about five degrees, let's say. So five degrees right there, five degrees right there. What this means is that this guy needs to either remove his legs or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't actually have him like move his legs around. So this kind of doesn't really work, unfortunately. Uh, the only other thing that I can think of doing is maybe having him stand <laughs> Stand up and maybe sitting further back or yeah, I mean that's it So let's say we move this guy up and maybe we move him backwards to like here and Maybe he can like sit on a chair up here. I know this is ridiculous, but maybe that's <laughs> Sure, we're gonna go with it. Oh, no, even though I've moved this guy this guy the gunner is now in the way uh, so, if I can arm in all of the way on his right arm, that would be great. Oh, he's already all the way in. Maybe if I move him slightly sideways? Hey, there we go, now he fits. Alright, cool, so now we should have azimuth left and right. That seems to work, and up and down, I guess? That also works as well. Fantastic. It does mean that this guy on the back has to sit in the sky. <laughs> That's what he looks like from back here. So, that's the new show. He is, um, I mean, he's sort of flying, to be fair. He is, his, his ass is too high, but, um, yeah, interesting. Also, I think the whole front end, whoa, we just did a huge jump. But yeah, I think the whole front end of this is actually too heavy. It is way too heavy. So, in order to weigh this down, let's go to thickness of this guy, and bam, there you go. So it should weigh it down a little bit at the back, but I think we are just far too heavy at the front, interestingly enough. But yes, now the gun does actually move from side to side, and it also moves up and down. Fantastic.